Hi, my name is Kayla and I help small business owners with QuickBooks Online. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between when should you use office supplies or supplies as a category. So basically what I'm talking about here is when you have purchased physical items for your business. So this was not for a specific client or a specific um, job or project. These were physical items you bought for your own business. When the project is over, these are items that you still have. They stay with you. So um, when you have things for your business, it could go in office supplies. It could go in supplies, or you may have seen it called supplies and materials. The problem is it can get confusing of when should you use that category. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you an example. So if I come over here, notice this list of expenses. This particular owner, they bought paper and pens, printer paper, planners, binders, sticky notes. These items, they all go in office supplies. So here, we, anything purchases like this, you would select the category office supplies. Now, these things are kind of, you know, clear examples, but the thing to keep in mind is when I look at your list of office supply expenses, I can't tell what business you're in. I can't tell the industry or the field that you're in. So these are just generic office supplies. I can't tell what industry you are in or your business is in. But now let's look at an example of expenses that have been categorized to supplies or supplies and materials. Now this business owner, they bought sheet music, songbooks, music stand, scale books, music theory flashcards. Okay, well here it is obvious that they are in the music field, that this is their business, it is music related. Maybe they are a music coach or a music teacher, but we cannot miss the fact that they are in music somehow. So from your list of supplies that you've purchased for your business, from here, I can get a better idea of what industry or field you are in. So that can be a good um, way to decide when should you use office supplies or just supplies and materials. Now, let's say, because this definitely comes up a lot, Let's say that there's a particular expense that you just cannot decide. It, it seems like it could be office supplies or it could be supplies and you just really cannot decide. At the end of the day, it wouldn't be the end of the world, whichever one you pick. However, it is still good to have some sort of a game plan. So just pick the one that it's more more likely to fit in. So let's say with the music stand, we bought this music stand and you know it's going in the studio. It seems like it could be an office supply, but you know at the end of the day, it wouldn't be a huge deal if you picked one or the other. But um, in this case, you know it says music stand. So the word music is in it. So the fact that I can tell what industry you're in, then this would be a good fit for the supplies category. So whichever one it more, more belongs in, go with that. Um, now, when we're looking at the profit and loss, this will help you with your business and kind of seeing where's the money going, where are the expenses going. When you use these categories, you look at the profit and loss and we can see, all right, this owner has spent $355 in office supplies, but $150 in supplies. So, or, you know, music teaching related supplies. So in this, we can kind of see how this owner's doing. They, this will help them in making their business decisions and they can see, okay, I haven't really spent that much on materials for my music students, but, um, but I have spent more on just getting items and things just in, you know, running my business and just, you know, regular office supplies. So that will kind of help you see more where the money is going when you do have some sort of plan of when you use office supplies versus supplies. Now, I also recommend with, um, with clients to go to your chart of accounts and just edit the, the category name of supplies edit that name so it, it's, it's obvious that you should use supplies when it's related to your particular type of business or your industry. So you go there by going to the transactions menu on the left, transactions and then chart of accounts. And that's where we are now. 
um, there is a search bar. You can search for supplies or just find it on your list. And then with supplies, I'm gonna do the arrow at the end of the row, edit. And I always recommend to just edit this name or customize this name for your business. So this can be studio supplies. This can be coaching supplies and materials. So we'll just go ahead and put that. Um, but this can be something where it will kind of remind you when you should use which category. So when you've made your next purchase and you're trying to decide the category, you can look at this and see your choices would be office supplies or coaching supplies or music supplies. So that will help you just as a reminder. And usually that turns out much better um, to help make faster decisions because, you know, you don't want to spend 10 minutes deciding what category to, to pick. All right, so here, that is how to do office supplies versus just supplies and materials. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know, and I would be happy to help you. Have a great rest of your day.